All right, well, welcome to Walleye Live here at... Dear. <laughs> yeah, players just starting to take the ice, and we're hoping to get things... So we've got tonight the Fighting Walleye C3 Blue team against the Northeastern. I think these teams have played each other pretty tight there in the season. Um, I think yeah. the Walleye, even if they win tonight, the... Oh, okay. Yeah, they need the Black Ice to either lose or tie with a higher score. Their deals there that they're going to have to, uh, to contend with. That's all right. Absolutely. The manners. So we'll take a quick look at the playoff standings in the 2C3 that we've got here. Um, oh, excuse me, you can see the, uh, the, the fighting walleye boot here is, you know, quite tied up across the board with and uh, for both teams, a little bit uh, crazy. Yeah. Since since all the um, since all the teams have the same at zero, that means if if the walleye were to tie right now, game tonight, and the black ice were to tie, I believe the the tiebreaker then shifts to the goals allowed. In which case you'd want. Ice games tie to be a higher score. A lot of challenge ahead of them here. You know, they, they, uh, they need to come out and play hard and they uh, get everything else through. <laughs> well, they're going to they're gonna have a full bench, so it isn't going to be a manner of stamina. Yeah, it should be very interesting. Now, I haven't, I, I don't think I've ever played the Nordeasters. Have you? I have not, but the, earlier in this season, I was able to uh, be one of the refs. Well, I think it ended in a 5-5 tie. <laughs> well, you got to change, you know, a lot of their scoring acumen, I guess. Yep, exactly. Well, I see tonight, uh, I think Jamie Davis is still battling from an injury, so it's Yes, Phil Owen of the C3 Black. Phil gets a ring. Yep, completely agree. He gets on a roll. I'm going to. So, and it looks like the Nordeasters have their regular goaltender. Here's. Now, Berkey's having a problem with his mic, so. We keep cutting out my apologies. I'm not sure what is going on. Play by play, man. Mic problem, not good. Yeah, so you're going to have to listen to Army. While I work on some technical issues. All right, now they're getting set up to.
T.O. got plenty of uh, pad shots there, so he's warm. I think on the uh, camera tonight. They could just hear you. <laughs> We gotta switch. Yeah. Yeah, we, we kind of had to get up. So we couldn't. Couldn't do our usual pre-game testing. <clears throat> testing, testing, testing. Do you hear me okay now? I was, yep. I can... Yeah, Sweet. I can hear everything but myself, so that works. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, absolutely. All right, so I think our temporary technical issue maybe appears to be fixed. That could be great, and just in time, we got like 15 seconds till puck drop here. And it looks like the scout has arrived. Look at the rosters. Forgot to show that to you guys. Jamie Davis will not be in that. That'll, and I believe they're going to be missing 85 Chris Henney. And um, 52 Al Bolden. I thought there was a third, but maybe I'm thinking of Jamie Davis. Rob Simmons. Rob Simmons will not be in the game today. That's the third. Sorry, folks. I'm going off memory here. So a little chatter amongst the teams before the puck drops. about ready to go. All right. Going off eyes there? Yeah. <laughs> Impressive. All right, they got a chance here. Ooh. Good play, good play. <laughs> Haldmeyer going coast to coast. Good shift by Haldmeyer. He, he was on that one-timer chance and then he got all the way back behind his own net you know his his own defensive zones net and then just got the puck froze on the other end
Wall I just looking to get it out here. Nice job. Walleye going off on a change, much needed. Congratulations, the grand finale, from what we understand. Ooh. Nordeasters have definitely come to play. A lot of greasy hockey this shift. Nice. Just a couple seconds too quick. This line had a very good first shift for the walleye. Let's see if they can match it. Nice shot. Looks like Krosky drew that one. I've seen those two do that play plenty of times, especially in our our practices. Uh, little give and go action. Casey will just sit there, take it, and then just tap it ahead, and it drew a what was it? A tripping call? Good, good initial setup on the power play here. Oh. Oh, deflection. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that initial rush on the power play there. Hopefully they can do it again. Get a quick line change here as they break out. Justin Eiley, the CEO. Nice job by Teddy to cover for Justin. Oh, we got a two on one the other way. Nice. Good stop. Thirty seconds left in the man advantage for the walleye. It's 
Gonna see a shot here. You got about 10, 10 seconds. Uh oh. Looks like I got him on the near post, short side. In real time, it looks like he got the puck just in between his rib cage and his elbow. Well, I got a rebound here and start. The, the, the Nordeasters have impressed me, at least with how they've come out so far. But I, the wall, I can turn this around. Johnny needs to get the wheels going. Good play. Nice. Okay, crash. They need a, somebody to crash. Oh, almost. Phil looks like he lost it for, for a split couple seconds there, but thankfully he was able to recover. <laughs> and the, re you, the remembering... <laughs> it's like, oh, you're, you're kind of... In, in awe of the play in front of you, sometimes you forget. Nice. There you go. Great poke by Eiley. Oh, they still will cover it, though. Can they, might have a chance the other way. If they can get it going. Nice pass. Stop. That was a bang bang play, but it looked like Owen had to make two back to back saves there. Or did somebody block that first shot? It's tough to say. Oh, this could be an opportunity. Got old Heiser there. Oh.
good turn of events there for the walleye. This is an intriguing line for me because you got you got Weidenbach and Old Heiser. They've played together for a long time, and then Tim Anderson, who we know can score goals. Overskated it. If somebody tells me I overskate something, I take that as a compliment. Because I never overskate anything. Ted Weidenbach. So, good things, real, you know, at least early, is I like some of these, um, how, how the walleye are playing at half ice when, they, when we're in their zone. Uh, but I'm still sensing a little bit more juice out of the Nordeasters. So I'd, I'd like to see the walleye kind of pick up their, their effort here. Get a shorty. There it is. Yeah. All right. Fortuitous turn of events for the PK. The much tonight the high scoring PK of the walleye. I was hoping they'd get a shorty. I said it. Who? Oh. Phil had to make two saves there. Decision by uh, Christian. He was looking, you know, real quickly to see if he had an outlet, but then he decided just to throw it down to the other end. Oh! Well, it looks like Phil tripped his own guy. Lost his paddle. There we go, now he can get it. Is that a back check? Yep. Full strength. Ooh, ooh, putt nets off. Nordeasters are really aggressive with taking the puck to the net. I'm impressed with that. But a good job by Phil Owen to, to keep his uh, to keep his keep his leg along that near post. Yeah. 
Oh, we got a chance here. Oh, if he can keep his feet. Oh. Teddy took a, a bump there, but he got right back up. Like I said, uh, once the walleye get it in their zone and set up, I've, I've, I've been impressed with how they've started. It's getting there, that's, that's going to be the challenge. Nordeaster's not shy with trying to keep possession of that puck. They're not timid. Get it up. Oh. <laughs> Looks like they were trying to get... Oh! Looks like the puck rebounded off the backboards and the walleye couldn't beat the Nordeaster to the rebound shot. Got by Owen there. And the, yeah, those are tough for a goaltender. When you miss the net, but you miss near their either their posts. They for for a little amount of time there. They don't know where it's going. Ooh! Oh, we got a penalty call. Looks like it'll be on the Nordeasters. Oh, never mind. Size, but no one called it. Yeah, <laughs> I saw him raise his arm. That, I think that's what confused me. Oh my! A neutral, neutral zone goal. That's a tough one. Yeah, that's. I have faith in Owen. I think he'll rebound from that. But yeah, that's a tough one. Good patience. Oh, just had one more man to beat. Having a lot of trouble getting it out here. Oh. I think I think there's some frustration boiling over there. I mean so far so far in this first period, I mean it looks like the teams are just not they're not shy about going after that puck. Nobody's timid. And unfortunately, it's going to lead to some collisions. And if you're frustrated, you might raise your arms a little bit, and that'll get the eye of the ref. And he scores! Right over the goaltender's left shoulder. Bottle rocket. Teddy Weidenbach with the bottle rocket.
Yeah, they need to. Okay, I guess that's the that's the strategy. Body them up to, to get in their head and then score on them on the PK. Nothing can go wrong with that, right? Northeasters are starting to get comfortable in the zone now. From our vantage point, it looks like the Northeasters set up a good screen and it was just a well-timed, well-placed well shot. Looked to me like the walleye, I, I didn't see who it was, but was just getting to the point of clearing him out, but it was too late. We got six goals in the first period here? Uh, the Nordeaster was looking for about a 20 more seconds on the clock there. Might have had himself a breakaway. All right, so six goals in the first period. That's a uh, score fest. Yeah, it's a... Uh, I wouldn't go as far as to call it a gong show just yet, but yeah, there's plenty of scoring, so I think if... You know, obviously, if I'm on that walleye bench, I'm like, guys, let's tighten up, and but let's let's be more aggressive this period. Uh, at least from my vantage point, it looked like the Northeasters were kind of the aggressor in that period. Even if the walleye did do a lot of great shifts out there, setting up in there in the offensive zone. Yeah, the ability to pick up a couple loose pucks, get a couple shorties, is definitely helpful. Keeping yeah, them in the game. They're in it because of that. So, but yeah, I think uh, what. You know, when they, like you said earlier, they got the puck in the offensive zone and they're able to get a low battle, they're getting good shots, just haven't been able to put it in. Right. But on the defensive side, they've got to look weak side. They're yeah. continuously trying to push up the strong side when and Nor'easters are keeping it in. you got, you got to go weak side, find that breakout, and they'll start scoring. Yeah, just a little bit too many odd man rushes for my taste there. So, like I said, just tighten it up defensively. And play, play with a little bit more oomph, and you'll be right back in this. Don't let, don't let the uh, Nordeasters push you around out there. Goalies are good. play. <laughs> Smart play by Bernier. Beautiful hold. Oh, that was an initial hold by Eiley there. It was beautiful.
Good pressure by the walleye. They've come out good. Yeah, they've come out. They've come out of the first intermission real good. There you go. <laughs> I didn't see what happened there, but it looked like the puck slid with Schmoley. again. That's what you want. Coming out of an intermission, just constant pressure. Get them on their heels. You know, this is this is kind of a, a speculative thing, but if the walleye keep not being timid when they go into those puck battles, they're going to draw another penalty. I, I feel like the Nordeasters are starting to Good, a tad bit chippy. Oh. Over at center. Keep him to the outside. Very good. This line scored on him a couple times, I th I'm think. Oh, patented. Oh. Oheiser almost had himself a rebound goal there. Oh, just couldn't connect. Couldn't, just couldn't connect. Just a tad bit quick. Absolutely. There goes Johnny. Got three Nor'easters on them, but not anymore. All right, well, now I think we have maybe voice back in. What's, What's that? that? I don't think our voice has been on there. Oh, we've, we've been, been silent? silent? Yeah, this was not doing it. Well, I apologize, folks, if you haven't uh, heard anything <laughs> so far. This is Berkey and uh, Army here, you know, my partner in crime. Oh, you're, you're not, not even showing me on the mic, and I waved. You don't have to do it now. Oh, you might as well. You know what? There we go. Hey, there's we got Savage down at the end too. Well, hopefully you could hear some of it. So you, you didn't miss much. No, we hadn't gotten crazy yet. Just talking about a lot of stories. Yeah, I had plenty of goals to talk about. Okay, see if the flip gets to the corner. Not able to get a shot on that. Okay, 
brings it out the center ice turn. Ooh. Yeah, hold the dump it down. Northeasters collect while the walleye are teamed in. Northeasters send it wide. Z's there for it. Johnny's got it. Tries to send it back to Z. Oh, odd man rush. We got three on one. There. Back Good back. Back. Good, Good back, back check by Jonah. Levinson bringing it up. He's got it wide. Takes a shot. Pull it with the save. Juicy. Still on off the deflection from Christian. Z able to keep it. Puck sent all the way down. Looks like we've got another icing. Ice. The wall has to face off deep in their zone. Wall win the face off. Back to Christian. Oh! Good save. Good save. That was a good stop by the Northeastern goaltender. And a good shot by Eiley. Both were able to keep it in. Oh, good pass from Schmalzi to the slot. Christian just not able to hold. Christian still throwing, trying to keep it in. Can't quite keep it in. Still battling for it. Some of the feet of the Northeasters. Comes out of the zone. Northeasters dump it in. Northeasters offside. Got to check up. Riley's got the puck. Good support by Clavel. Northeasters with the steal. Take a deep Christian with another help. And another help. That was a good cover. cover. Settle him down. Not a little slow in the replay. <laughs> One of these days we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, great handoff, Phil. That was great. Great handoff to the ref. <laughs> this is like a pro. Northeast just wins the face off. It's out. Leaks out. Dump it in. Still off sides. Lewis able to collect. Olsizer with the tip on the stretch pass. Set here. There goes Maddie's got it, trying to hit all side center ice. It's underneath them. Teddy takes it. Takes it wide. Stop blocked by the Northeasters. Controlled by the Northeasters with the blue line. They carry it out. It's Good poke out. by Lewis. They needed that. Northeasters cross pass. Shot the foot through the corner. Lewis able to control. Turns, resets. Sends it around to Teddy. Teddy not able to keep it. Shot the flight back in the corner. Northeasters have control behind the net. Tried to send it in front. Fluffed it off the back post. Tim Anderson bringing it up. You got three on two with the walleye. Fucks in zone. <laughs> Now it's not. Northeasters break up. Now Just a little bit too much stick handling at the blue line there. Oh. Literally over the net. Good Claire, you got it out. Not gonna be a icing. Yeah, nice, nice timing on that one. No puck to get in off the deflection. Northeast, Northeasters have the momentum right now. from Lewis. Johnny's still bringing it low. I still got it. Johnny's looking. Johnny's looking. Still nobody. Gonna freeze you at the point. Freeze you with the shot. Oh, hit the post. The corner. 
Puck's loose in the slot, Nordeastern's control, it's still loose, they got it again. You know, I will say that I've been impressed with the walleye centering passes tonight. And for the guys that being there, they're, they're just missing on a, on, a, on a few. Looks like they have a guy go right to the net and another guy in the high slot. Oh, Freezy trying to take out his uh, D-man Z over there, it looked like. With a pop to the face. Oh, no, that's Tim Anderson over there. Yeah, be nice to the new daddy, come on. <laughs> Well, you know how I feel, but we should we should be the ones out here playing, right? I'm I'm about ready for my summer sabbatical. Let the body, you know, rest up. But yeah, I wish we were doing some free hockey. Don't get me wrong. Puck sent all the way down. Bill sends it to the corner. Bernie tries to get the pass to Case. Casey's got it. All right, so got Johnny. Johnny's bringing it around. Johnny's still bringing it around. Casey's got it. All, All right, right let the walleye get back. set up here. Johnny's looking to see what he's got. Johnny sends it back to that. Casey's in. Yes, yeah, score! Scores! What a play! That was that was a beautiful little dangle by. Uh, beautiful pass right through the low slot. Perfect. Slide. Casey turns on the backhand and puts it in the net. What a nice play! There you go. Now you're you're you're, you're back in it. Just like that, one goal game. Hey, and it was full strength too. How about that? A full strength goal yeah, from the blue. Strength. What do you know? It can happen. I don't know. I don't know. I, I might, might go, go with, with the. Uh... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What's going on here? Is he complaining about the net? They're saying no goal now. That the net was off. Well, that's wow. a bummer. So that's not even a shot either, then that's that's um, that's well, a turn. Well, you know, people on the the walleye black are probably getting a little PTSD right now because I I believe that happened in one of the black games. The the goal was whistled good uh, while the net was off, and then the the ref checked the net after the play, and it was off, and they whistled it dead. So. Looks like that's what's going on here. Yeah, you can tell Matt he's heated and Casey too. Casey's. To me, that looked like a good goal. He kicked it after. He was trying to remember Casey beat him. Yeah, I'd have to go back and look at it again just yeah. to kind of see. But yeah, that'll be an interesting thing to look for. But it looked like he kicked it off after Casey had scored. So we got Christian with the play. Coco's got it. Sends it in. It's deflected. Nordeast is bringing it up center ice. Shot. Phil sends it to the corner. Nice to done, Phil. Chance the other way for Jonah. Jonah sends it in and stopped by the goalie. Yeah, quite unfortunate. Yeah. If I'm on that bench, I'm thinking, you know, short term memory it sucks. Uh, they said the net was off, which was an odd late. I think he, I think he kicked it off after he tried to make the save. But we'll see in replay. Yeah, it's on the feed. Nordis just bring it up. Two on three. Just on shot. The net, Bill able to stop. Center mass. Good, good stop by Owen though. Not to give up a juicy rebound. Well, six and a half minutes left in the second. Um, I'm thinking here, if I'm on that wall high bench, just get a goal at least. Because then you got them thinking about it going into the third period, and then you can come out in the third period and get another, and another, and another. And a battle on the wall. I just got it back, makes a little turn. Oh, bum. Going by Nordeasters, hard shot, box loose, go with the save, it's loose in the middle. Good job by Olheiser. He, he, he was key there to not giving him a chance to score on that rebound. Yep. 
Marco sends it back to the corner off the center and jump from the Norwegian. Anderson with control behind the net. He's looking, sends it back the other way. No ah. ice. No oh, ice. Off the stick. Nordeaster set it up to play behind the net. Sends it all the way down. Walleye control. Matty tries to get it up the middle. Eventually does get to Teddy. Teddy sends it up. Just off the stick hand. All the way down. Nap back control again. Teddy looking for all Heiser up the middle. Timing is off a little bit. Here goes Lewis. Lewis with the cut. Get it, on on the the get it on his Get it on his forehand. Circling around. Still looking. Lewis still looking. <laughs> Shoot! With the shot. Oh, nice. oh. oh that was and a goal. And waving this one off for crease violation. Ooh. Get the replay quick enough. Damn. That was no, that's two goals, unfortunately, that are not on the board. Uh, easier for me to stay up here than down there in the thick of it, but stay at your peace and move on. So now they're talking about it. Again. Somebody was in the crease, so they waved it off. Right outside the zone, face off. Oh, well, I can't, can't let that uh, hurt them. They got to keep that on. Yeah, nothing they can do about it now. I mean, what, what they know is they can score. Exactly. I like that. I like that thinking. Completely controlled this period. If you can get two, you can get two again. Matty sends it back across. No one was quite ready for it. Bernier used his skate to hold it. Nordeaster steal it for Matty. Two on one. The shot deflected up into the corner for Lewis. I'm sure Lewis is playing a little angry right now. Uh, all, the, no all, that, all that work for that beautiful shot. Nordeaster's trying to stretch past there. He's not able to collect. Matty sends it back wide right to Casey. Casey's got control. You got walleye four on three. Good lateral move there. Casey has a quick little flip. Always sends the line. Oh, tried, tried the wrap around. Almost, almost got, got it. it. Casey's still battling in the corner. Getting a little chippy. Oh, we got a call. We got a call. Buck comes down. Six on the Nordeasters. So we got a hook on Nordeaster. So walleye going on the power play. So hopefully the walleye power play can match the output tonight, or at least try to here of their PK. Yeah, if uh, two goals called off, you can get right back at it and go, you know. Get the pucks on the net. Back Christian face off top. The battle comes back to Smolzy. Smolzy sends it back to Z at the point. He's looking, sends it in. Off the goalie's glove. Nordeasters collect and are able to. Freeze hit the puck all the way across to Smolzy. Smolzy drops for Z. See a quick little bottle, bobble, recollect. A little move, brings it in. He cuts the slot with the shot. Oh, oh. Off the crossbar! What is going on? Almost Bardowski by Larry there. Buy a goal. <laughs> Somebody needs to take out a loan or something. I mean, come on now. Because he got it again. He's waiting for everybody to get on side. All the way across to Jonah. Jonah sends it back down behind the net, all the way to the corner. Smolzy's there to collect. 
A little push there. From behind. We've got another penalty coming on the Nordeasters. Good, good of the ref to uh, cross check. To call that. You don't want to get let this game get out of hand here. We're all going to have a good chance here. we got a five on three for 53 seconds. Now, I did say earlier, I was like, if the, if the walleye challenge on these puck battles, they're going to drop a penalty. And look what happened. Yeah, just skating hard, win the race. You don't have to necessarily be the aggressor, just don't be timid. Nordeaster is able to find the loose puck and clear it down ice. Eiley bringing it up. Eiley sends it across the whole visor. Sends it over to Teddy, or Tim. Timmy not able to keep it in. Deflection of Nordeasters, one on two. Circles in the neutral zone, sends it back down deep. 22 seconds left in the five on three. Coco skating it into the zone. Coco taking it deep. Coco's looking, he's looking. Skating all the way around. Still there it is. Tim Anderson in the slot. Oh. oh, Tim swept just a little high. Ooh, I Teddy that shot behind. He's got Teddy. somebody high slot. Puck comes out. Isla able to keep it in. Nordeaster's able to clear it all the way down. Chance to go away. Nordeaster's with the shot and they score. Short This game we love sometimes just cuts your heart out. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. You got all that good juju in the other on the other side, but a, a good puck bounce and a good shot by the Nor'easter. Now you're down. Yeah, it's not over. We well, not over. Gonna come back you got, a, you got another here. period. This yeah, is beer league. Yeah. This is beer league. You can score four or five goals in a period. Yeah, Walleye are a third period team anyway. <laughs> Got them right where we want them. It's almost 10.30. We, we hit our stride at 10.30 p.m. That's right. Well, I can't quite decide what to do. Maddie sends it over to Krosky. If we get in the zone. Krosky's got it deep again. So what I'm hoping here is some of these Nordeasters have learned from these penalty calls. And maybe we'll be a tad bit less aggressive. Time to tee it up. Oh, just sends it wide. Maybe that'll open up an opportunity for the wall. Bernie able to keep it on the far side. 50 seconds. Nordeasters able to clear it down. Got it. That's a good, that's a good. Oh, there. 15 left in the power play. What is, what's wrong with Phil? Oh, that puck deflected and hit the net. Should have been blown dead. I didn't see that. Interesting. One second left in the power play. Goalie freezes the puck. We've got 23 seconds left in the period. Well, you got a face off down in their zone. Period's almost over. See if you can get a quick goal. Here we go. Shoot. Shots wide. Nordeaster's able to clear. He's got it. Good battle. Nick Flex is still nine seconds left. He's pushing and looking. Three. Get a shot off. One. Shot on net. And there's the end of the period. Walleye three goals down right now. When you look up at it, you're like, it sucks, but they can get them back. Yeah, that was tough. Two, two goals called off. You know, both looked pretty close from here. I can't say for sure what happened, but. Got to forget about it. Yep. Get her back. Yeah, I, I'm a little bit, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm a major hypocrite by saying you got to forget about it, though. I, I think I got some penalties by not forgetting about it. Yeah, this, this year, point, it's not going to do any good to worry about it at this <laughs> point. you gotta just, you got to go score goals now. 
That's right. I, I don't think you're at a point just yet, but not too far off where you gotta just send your your entire shift of five uh, up. But they're getting there. I mean, you're, when you're down three goals with one period left, you might you might see the old four-one offense. Yeah, yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. This is the season now, so. Uh, I'm sorry, what'd you say, Joe? Uh, trying to get ejected just around the streets. <laughs> Nap? I'm sure Nap would willingly oblige that. Let's go, boy! How's that? <laughs> did you mute your mic before you did that? We'll find out. No, I did not. I covered it, though. <laughs> That's the start of the third period. Are these in the slot? Try to set up the shooters in the line. Centering pass attempt. Knocked out by Freezy. Up to Clavel. And Jonah. Jonah bringing it wide. Staying wide, staying wide. One towards the net. No one in the slot. Northeasters bringing it up, two on two. Got a slight break on the outside. Good stick from Z, good follow up play. Great, great stick from Z, great, great, great defense, defense all around. around. Nice great puck. Good turn, Give himself a little time. Got the puck up to Jonah again. Great, great sequence of events. Jonah the shot, loose in front, fully covered. Yeah, another coke. The caffeine. <laughs> Tim Anderson with the puck well. Got Coco at the point. Coco sends it back down deep. Teddy tries to send it in the middle. Puck sucked down by the goalie skate. Goalie can't go Still anywhere. Still fighting for it. Loose. Think the net came off. So we got 15:54 in the third. Yeah, you're you're at the point where you need to think offensively more than defensively. Yeah, got Olheiser in the faceoff dot. Went the faceoff back to Coco. Coco not quite able to chip it. Good no call. Yep, just feet tangled. It happens, it's hockey. I heard the quick pass up. Anderson, Anderson unable to hold it. Puck gets deep. Coco's on it. Coco rings it around. Olheiser picks it up. Out to center ice, nobody home. Eiley picks it out of the air. It's up to Teddy. And Anderson able to sneak nice, through. Nice, nice, slip through there. Hits it back to his forehand, sends it towards the net. Stuck behind the net. That's out. And the Northeasters send it way out. Do they have delay a game in USA Hockey rules? I'm glad they don't, because I'd have a couple. Because <laughs> <laughs> that, that would have been a delay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've had a couple of those that are very accidental. Yeah, you're trying to flip pass? Yeah. It's happening. While I get control, Casey's got it deep. He's got Bernie and Cross in front. Goalie pushes a little shot attempt behind the net. Casey's staying on the puck. A little battle northeast on the wall. Cross able to keep it in. Oh, just sneaks through Lewis. And the Northeaster send it deep. Matt's got it, sends it around. Casey can't quite get to it. Casey back in there. Now he's able to clutch it. Northeaster's offside. Here goes Lewis. Lewis gets it. Ooh. Yep, we got a cross check coming on Northeaster's, or maybe interference too. Wrap around. Oh. Goes out of the net, here comes the shot, shot's deflected. Still hasn't gotten to the net yet. <laughs> Northeasters knew it was coming, they still couldn't stop it. Yep. 
Puck sent all the way down. Got to be careful on that one. That goes in. It counts. saying his piece about the call, but then we'll go in the box. Got a walleye back on the power play. Now it's time to take advantage. Yeah, you want a quick goal here. Come on. Hold it back to Z. He's trying to get it through. Buck leaks all the way through 3D. Nordeaster's able to somehow get the puck with three guys. Sends the shot wide. Nordeaster still able to control. Now the wall ahead of him. Friesen sends it to the middle. He's off of Christian. We've got an offsides call. It's going to be at sunrise. Is it offsides or deflected into the netting? Offsides because it hit the goalie. Oh, the wall gotcha, gotcha. Off, and the puck. Came so from it's, coming back, it's coming so back. It's coming back to this circle. Neutral okay. zone. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter where you were offside. It matters where it came from. Yeah, it was, uh, from the nor'easter, I'm just like, shut up. You've already gotten two goals waved off. <laughs> nor'easter is able to clear it down. So a minute and a half left on the power play for the walleye. Breezy's got the puck. He's looking. He's looking. Where's he going? Somebody get open. Breezy backhand all across to Schmolzy. Schmolzy interstates. Pulls it back to Z. Z looking. A little pressure. Buck is out. Act labeled leak through. Ooh. And Reuters is collect. Reuters was able to clear it down again. One minute left on the power play for the walleye. Not able to get any zone time yet. Some new forwards out for the walleyes. Is he able to get it in and send it down deep? Bucks down behind the net. Nordeaster is able to clear it with no D at the blue line. <laughs> 35 seconds left in the power play. Nordeaster is able to keep it in the zone. Bullheiser on the puck, tries to get it up the boards, comes all the way down to the other zone to the Nordeasters. 15 seconds on the power play. Flanked it by Anders. Oh, danger. Good poke from Coco. Last clear, three oh, seconds. Off to be full strength Two again. One. Back to even strength. Definitely not the power play they had hoped for. No, Justin able to get it up to Anderson, not able to keep it in the zone. Reduce to send it down ice. Nowhere to go. Coco's pass stolen from the Nordeasters. You got two on two. Allheiser with a quick back. Morky sends it back down deep. Teddy in control on the boards. Teddy pushing. Teddy still pushing. Has the puck knocked out of his hands. Ohio's back with the puck. Nordeaster's good step in front of What do you think, Army? Pretty monotonous right now. It is. That's not, definitely not what the wall I want. No, it's way too quiet. Coco tries to clear it out, and the Nor'easters keep it in. And to their credit, the Nor'easters are doing what they want right now in terms of keeping the keeping the puck at battle. Nobody has clear possession. <laughs> Nor'easter almost took out his stripes there. Yeah, Wally just not able to get a, a decent control and make anything happen. Yeah, we're just seeing puck battle after puck battle, which oh, now looks we got like they are going to call. Line. 
Looks like we got Krosky for interference. Oh, it looks like it's Casey, actually. Or maybe Casey. Well, on, on the, the bright, bright side, side hurt. on, on the, the bright, bright side, the PK is what, two, two for three, three tonight? That is true. That is true. Two shorties. Got him right where we want him. Shorties moving around carefully. Good block from Crosby. Still bad one. Lewis got the puck behind the net. Lewis able to clear it all the way down the ice. Minute 35 left in the kill. 9.50 left in the game. Walleye trail by three. Lewis able to knock that puck down. It's a good play. Center, right? Not much Phil can do about that one. Yeah, it looks like when the Nor'easters got those long shot goals, they've been looking to get shots just on net. Yeah, anything with traffic looked like... Um, they are throwing it, they yeah. see that one coming, and then once it deflected, there was no chance. Might have been a situation where Owen might have... Even been screened by his own man a little bit. That could be, yeah. We're down to 9.30 left in the game. Buck comes out of the zone while I able to check up and get back on the fourth deck. Third Eastern trying to clear behind the net. Sent back out. LaBelle blocked. Breezy flex in the slot. Breezy with the shot. Flex wide. Christian sends it back to the point. Breezy's got it, sends it in. It's a bouncer. It's off the goal. He's able to stop. One foot in front of the other here. Get a goal. Try to get another one. Try to get another one. Get on a roll. Send it down. Looks like we could have an icing. Then we've got an ice. 8.45 for the third here. There's time. It's not over. I definitely got to get into high gear here. It starts at one. Get a little roll. Rebound. Oh, so oh. rebound behind. Oh, no. <laughs> Z was about to tee that one up. Zone guy stole it. I think the net's off again. Skull tender is, I don't know if it's the problems with the net, sir. I don't see Phil doing it. Uh, 8.32 left in the third. Face off inside the zone. Is this skull tender kicking off the... Got a little Matt Murray action going. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're saying. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. The shot at the flex in front off the goalie's chest. He's able to keep it in front of him. Looky here. Yeah, he's definitely surprised coming through. <laughs> his keep forgetting to kick me for the replay. <laughs> <laughs> Coco tries to get through there, ends up in the corner. Teddy's got it, sends it through the crease, gets all the way through. Coco not quite able to keep it in. We got a two on one. Oh no. Highly falls. Oh, great back check from Oheiser. Oheiser saved that play. Oh, now, now we got some got chip. A little chippy there. Ref's letting him play though. Puck leaks down. Walleye pressing hard. 
I like what I'm seeing with the wall. I just wish I would have seen it earlier. Nordish was bringing it to the net. Not able to get it all the way through. There we go, Teddy with the steal. Scott. Trying to pull it around. Scott Simmons curling. Oh. Just missed Tim Anderson in front. Those darn boot blocks. Does get it up to Eiley. Eiley not able to keep it in the puck leaves out. While I recollect. Eiley sends it deep off the goalie. Shot on that. Puck sent all the way down. Eiley's bringing it up. That's uh, nap. Oh, I got my Chicago's confused. I get them, I get them confused in, without their gear on. That hasn't happened to me in a while. <laughs> Nordeasters get it in the zone, battle along board. Lewis able to control, get it all the way across. Frosty trying to win the race. Puck's able to get in the zone. Johnny sends it back Ooh. there. Ooh, up off the goalie's shoulder. He's able to stop it. I like Johnny's thinking there, trying to get a juicy rebound for his boy Casey, but... So we're down to 6.36 in the period, Walleye down by four. Walleye's two goals, both short-handed. All, you can, all you can control right now is getting one goal. And that's got to be your mentality. Just get a goal. Get, a, get the next goal. One at a time. Unfortunately, hockey does not allow for two or three goals in single bunches. There's no two-pointers. Oh, good shot from the point. Goalie makes a couple saves. Well, at least he didn't kick the net off. So 6-10 left in the period. Nordeasters block the faceoff. Casey was really good at strong pressure. Still leaks out. Comes all the way down ice, around the net. Lewis able to get there. He's body position to collect the puck. Lewis brings it up, cuts. Tries to stay on it, not able to get it through the middle. Krosky trying to keep it in, unable to. Two on two, Nordeasters dump it down. Maddie racing to the puck, sends it around. Bernier is going to be first to get there. Bernier looks. Sends it all the way across. Cross, he's got the puck. There goes Johnny. Good defense by Stripes there. Yeah. Way to, get, way to go through the hands. <laughs> puck sits all the way around. Christian looks like he wants to go after this one. Gets Ooh. a stick on, turns. Quick shot. Oh. Deflected to the corner. Just a little bit wide there. Nordeaster sent a clearing pass all the way down. Looks like this might be nice. High. And we do. We're almost right at the five minute mark. Yep. So 4.59 left in the period. Potentially in the Walleye C3 Blue season. Yeah, they're going to need uh, almost a. Well, they, they need a goal a minute to win. C3 Black know, knows how that feels. Ah. Uh. Hey, D1, they got, they, they D1 got, uh, Friday, was it Friday? Yeah, D1, they won our game, but with the uh, tie-breaking rules, ended up losing out, not making it to the championship next weekend. That's tough. Yeah, after uh, such a strong season, not able to finish is definitely tough. Well, we're, we're going to have to put our um, put all our support behind the C2 team as they That's made right. it to the Frozen Beer League 4. Oh. Yeah. Christian plows guy over. It's accidental. Incidental. Nordeast is bringing the puck up the ice. So I didn't. You know, I didn't even look at this at the start of the game, but is this a situation where the Nordeasters might be in play now? I'm not sure. Uh, they might have two losses, though. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. All, all these teams are 1-0-1. Oh, the there you go. There you go, there you go. Yeah. yeah. So but, they're, but head to head, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure if they beat, played the Black Ice, or if they did, did they beat them? Oh, now we got a penalty. Now Christian's going. 
Yeah, well, I mean that that can happen. You're down. You got you're down by multiple goals late in the game. The the team is is not timid. They're still not. The Nordeasters will challenge you for that puck. Yeah, you got frustrations. Have that. Little boil over sometimes. Got to have the aggressive hat on. Yeah. I remember, I think it was a baseball coach of mine one time saying, it was great advice. You know, I wasn't sure I was able to do something. And, uh, Eiley using his ass. Sorry, cut it. Eiley using his ass to walk away there. <laughs> it was a good walk, Eiley. We got to give him credit for that. Hell yeah, you stick your ass out there, that was a nice play. Well, Not that, sure if he knew it was coming, but that's right. I don't know, but hey, it worked. But what the coach said is, you know, if you do it wrong, I can fix that. Just don't be scared when you do it. Don't be timid. That's all, I can't coach you out of that. So that's that's kind of, that, that rings true here, just don't be timid. You don't have to be a goon. You don't have to... Don't have to Coco with the big block off a wonky slap shot. Just don't be timid. Go right for the puck with them. Looks like somebody on the walleye lost a, a broken stick. Oh, we got a broken twig? Yes. I just saw the ref bring it over. I didn't see where it happened. Casey in battle on the fork check. Casey's got a chance to get it to the net. Bernie's got a chance. Oh. Sends it a little wide. 45 seconds left in the kill. A little aggressive here. Good play. It's just a good hockey play. Yeah. Everybody working hard. Nordeast is bringing it up one on three. Uh, good poke. Tried for a little crossover action. 27 seconds left in the kill. on goal, you can tell the, he's been uh, working a little harder in terms of offense this period, you know, with the Walla out, out shooting them 12-3. to 3. But, yeah, hasn't mattered on the scoreboard. Unfortunately. But taking nothing, you know, they had a great season, either way. Heck, they got three extra games at the free hockey burkey. That's right. Three more games at Don the Walleye jersey and come out and play. That's right. You know, you play competitive, had a chance. That's all you can ask for. That's all you can ask for. How many of these guys are on the C2 team? Lewis and... Oh, Tim Anderson. This is why. Uh, you've got Lewis. Is he the only one? Lewis. Uh, oh, Justin Eiley. Lewis, Justin, and Casey. Casey, that's right. So, a little bit more life for them. As they'll go to the Frozen oh, C24. Bernie as well. Bernie as well. Oh, yeah. Frozen C24. Down to 46, 48 seconds left in the walleye season. Teddy taking around, no give up on Teddy. Throws to the net, not able to get it to the goalie. Oh, oh good tip shot from Teddy. Finish, finish strong here. Goalie. Come on, finish strong. Box loose. Down to 30 seconds. Maddie collects it, sends it up ice. Everybody's on side. Nordeast is able to clear it out, send it down. Maddie's got it. Oh, oh on to soft sides. 17 seconds. It's hard to say what what kind of way this game would have went if those two goals would have been in. But can't change it now. Nope. What's happened's happened. You build on it. Spent some summer working, getting better. 
You made it to the second to last game of the season. Nothing to hang your head on. Yeah. Yeah, so unfortunately for your walleye, they fall 6-2 to two to the Nordeasters and lose out on a chance to go to the C3 Finals. Uh, but again, a great season for C3 Blue. They battled, went 2-0 or 1-0-2 uh, in the playoffs. Uh, some good games and, you know. Yeah. Hey, you made it. You got three free games like you said. It's uh, you, were, you were one win away from, you know, one win and a little bit of help from the Black Ice game from going to the finals. That's that's fantastic season. Yeah, of course exactly. you you want it to be you want to win. That's that's what you want. But great heck of a season. Don't hang your head. Yeah, exactly. Nothing to complain about at all. No. And plus the, some of them they're you know the the wall the C two walleye are gonna need them. Yeah, hold on a minute. Hey, you keep talking for a second. He's going to go try to take a team picture here, I think. Uh, doesn't, I don't know if he's going to be able to talk him into it because he's already got guys leaving. Okay, oh, he's just turning around. Looks like he's going to get the pick. Look at those mugs. Now, come to think of it, Savage, we didn't get a picture. We don't want to remember this year. <laughs> we didn't make a playoff. True, true. It's, it's the people you meet along the way. Good photo there. Good job, Berkey. All right, thanks, but I we had a D1 Moy real quick and was like, hey, everybody's got to come out and do a picture. And so I oh, yeah, yeah. Sure we got them, the, yeah. them too. So, yeah, unfortunately, you know, end of the season, the uh, C2 walleye team are the only ones left. We'll be rooting uh, them on. Yeah, I think Wednesday 9-15, I think, or something like that at EP. I think oh, is wow. where the game okay. is. Gotcha. And then so the final is the final at St. Louis Park. The final will be at St. Louis Park on Sunday evening. I think it's maybe a five o'clock game or something like that. I think yeah, so by by next Sunday night, the season will be over. Yeah. So the Walleye play the uh, Moose C two team, who they already beat. I think. Who it was? We tied. Oh, it was yeah, one tied to one. Yeah. There was some. We'll just say some missed calls. The the ultimate. We believe the score was actually three to nothing. Got it. Uh, but got it ended it. up one one, so we know going into this game, we got good chance to move on to the as finals. long as you bring what you brought yep. before, yeah. But Nate pulled the groin. Mm. He only played half the first period, then went and got dressed, so you know uh. he's hurting. Henny didn't play again from his concussion, still battling that. And then Morkin missed the period after taking a big hit. Um, so I don't know what Morgan's status e is either, and Krause's in Vegas enjoying the weather. So, you know, we got a couple guys missing, don't and obviously buck out for the season as well, so. Didn't Krause give Josh Gesh a lot of crap that one year? He couldn't goaltend I believe, during the playoffs? Yes, I believe that happened. I do. I believe we should not let Mr. Gesh forget that. So hopefully you're hearing that, Krause. <laughs> hope you hear that, buddy. <laughs> Anyway, I'm well, good luck to the C2 team on Wednesday. I uh, don't know if they'll be live stream or not, but... Yeah, depends. Depends. Huh? Eat and yep. Is it the yeah. big so rink? Might, uh, you know, I'm not sure. We won't be able to live stream the St. Louis, the championship if they make it there. Maybe. In Maybe. that two rink? In that Maybe. in that east rink? It'll be tight. It'll be a bad camera angle, but... It's the championship. It. Yeah. It. Okay. It's, okay, it's good. Good, right. good. Exactly. So, all right, well, thanks, thanks Joe. to Savage. Thanks for, nice work on the camera. Thanks, Army. Apologize Anytime. for the technical difficulties early that when I thought I fixed it, I did for us. 
but I think it was messed up for you guys for the first period. So you didn't miss much. Yeah. yeah you got to Army. watch a lot of goals. Though. Yeah. Just Army and Berkey talking. You know. <laughs> you know goes, so. All right. Well, have a good one. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, again, see you next time on Walleye Live. Bye, everybody.